here at the Biggs Museum of American Art. Today we are located on our third floor in our brand new exhibition all about contemporary art. Now contemporary art is art that is made by artists today and in recent history. So these are artworks currently being made um, by people currently practicing art. Now behind me we have a piece called Fawn and as you can see it doesn't really show one particular thing. There's no tree, there's no animal, there's no fawns or small deer that you can see in the painting. Now, this is abstract in that it's not showing you one particular thing. What you may notice behind me though is there's a whole bunch of different colors that are sort of making shapes. Now, when we look at an object and a painting and it has a shape sort of like this, it's not quite a U, it's not really a moon shape, it's not really a circle, that is called an organic shape. Organic shape means it's not regular. For example, a regular shape would be something like a triangle or a square, but an organic shape just like this one, is something that doesn't quite fit that description. It's just another weird thing. It's completely closed. It has all different sides. Uh, there's no openings in it. Everything's closed off, so it's a shape. But it's not our usual triangles, circles, squares, rectangles, diamonds. And that's what is organic. You can find these weird sort of shapes happening in nature. And contemporary art, particularly abstract, like this one behind me, can be filled with these different shapes and colors. So for today's Bigs Kids activity, you can take paper, you can color it in if you want, you can paint on it if you want. If you have colored paper, go ahead and use that. And you wanna cut it out into all sorts of organic shapes. So you want no triangles, no squares, no circles, no diamonds. You just kind of want to let your scissors do whatever your scissors do. And you want to cut out a bunch of weird little organic shapes. And then you're going to try to fit them together in some way that makes sense to you. How do you think these shapes should fit together? Should they fit together like this? Should they fit together, I don't know, like that? Maybe this one's just out floating over here and it just touches. That is up to you. And you wanna take all of these different organic shapes, however many you make, and you wanna try and fit them together to make a giant piece of abstract art. And that is your March Bigs Kids. So go get your scissors, Go get your paper and have fun making your own abstract art, just like this piece behind me. Thanks, and let's see you again next month. Bye.